Hey everybody, so this is day one of Ashley Ross Going Merrily vlog and I wanted to document the process of a challenge I've set for myself um, and that is can I in 45 days manage to survive and keep moving forward towards my dreams of professional success as a business owner and also have time to enjoy life and spend with my family. That was kind of a mouthful. It's not very catchy, is it? Work-life balance challenge. I just hate balance. Work-life harmony challenge. There we go. So uh, if you've not heard of him before, his name is Ryan and he's on YouTube and I... I didn't catch how he pronounces his last name. It's Trahan, Trahan. Um, and he is a YouTuber that does different challenges and he's relatively new to the YouTube game. So, you know, he knows what he's doing. He's kind of approaching it kind of like Mr. Beast does where he helps people and he does that in very cool, interesting ways. And his new challenge is to travel across the country, starting with a penny. And he's going to deliver that penny to Mr. Beast. And he's in California when he starts and he has to, um, figure out how to trade up that penny for money generally. Um, eventually he gets to money and travel across the country on that money. <laughs> so it sounds odd. He has to do it in 30 days. And at first I was like, oh, yay, another YouTuber. I, I like, I enjoy Mr. Beast's videos, most of them, but I get the marketing behind like all the yelling and the pizzazz and the golden pizza type things. Um, and my husband and kid were really excited about watching this. So I decided to watch it with him and I was hooked because his ability to walk the streets and do something as simple as selling waters, like just blew my mind because not only does he sell the waters and then he sells them at like $2 a piece in California. It's, it's a great deal. Like that's not. He's not scamming anyone. All he did was go buy some waters. He bought the cooler and he walked around and delivered water to people. Like that's a pretty good service for two bucks. You didn't have to go anywhere to get your ice cold water. Um, but the other part is that he got a lot of rejections and it didn't matter. He just kept going all day long out in the hot California sun. He just kept going and it didn't deter him to be like, looked at weird or completely ignored like someone standing like two foot two feet away from him just totally ignored him multiple times multiple people and he just keeps going and I think it's so fascinating that he has that sk that skill he's built up this this uh ability to one I mean not care what people think but two not be afraid of failing and those two skills are so huge for like long-term survivability as an adult <laughs> in any, any line of work, even if he doesn't stay a YouTuber forever. And beyond that, not only did he have the business savvy to figure out, okay, I can sell these waters, make profit. Um, he also tried to do sodas. And in California, people are health conscientious. So once he understood and realized the market was bad for sodas, he didn't buy any more sodas and he went back to the waters because they were successful and he made more money. And so he learned from a failure and he course corrected and he went on with life. And he, he also, um, continues on his, he's in seven days, yeah, seven days in now. And he continues to just add in new ideas as he's like continuing to move across the country 
he has to come up with different ideas because it's a different market, right? He, he tries them out and then he, he's like, oh, this is risky. Like, is this going to really pay off? And sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. And he still gets back up at the like morning every day with a smile on his face. And he like feels great about like just generally interacting with happy people. Like he doesn't let the negative ones get him down. He just feels good about like having a conversation with someone buying a bottle of water with it from him. Um, and it's just uh, like mind blowing to me and also very like humbling and almost embarrassing that he's so good at this and I am in a very similar boat. I have a month and a half, 45 days to get clients so that I don't have to go get a job working for someone else, which is absolutely the last thing I want to do at this point. I am six months in to not having a boss for the first time in my entire life. I've never been more happy to be able to spend time with my family when I want to, to be able to wake up and hug my little baby and not bring him and hand him off to someone else that's going to raise him. I mean, my husband's raising him, but I get to be a part of it. I'm not just gone for eight hours a day out of his life. And I get to not miss, you know, I don't miss all the milestones, um, like I did with our first son. And I don't, you don't get that back, by the way. If you're not a parent or you're a new parent and you think that you have to slave away at work and that's better, I understand paying bills. Trust me, I do. But you don't get that back. I, you know, never heard his first words. I, I Like, those little things, those moments were given to my mother-in-law because she was taking care of him um, or the daycare people when he went to daycare you don't get them back and so this is just a, a record of my journey um, Daryl Eves is another guy that um, my husband <laughs> I, I get everything good through him I mean he really does keep a good eye on what's um, the right information that I need to be listening to. And Daryl Eves talks about in the first couple chapters of the YouTube formula, how he like cut the cord or like cut the rope safety. Like there was no parachute. There was no safety net. Like he just jumped in like all in. And that's kind of where I'm at now. Like we've fully exhausted all of our savings, all of our retirement, um, everything. I have a month and a half left, 45 days left before I have zero dollars in my bank account. Currently have 3,800 and I have about 1,100 coming in from a current client job that I just wrapped and 1,500 for client work that I have yet to complete. And then that's pretty much it. I have a very tiny client at $200 a month for maybe the next two months. I don't know how long that'll go on. And that's it. And so I've heavily been marketing. I have been trying to figure out like how to network properly and I'm doing a terrible job at it. Like literally this guy started with a penny and he managed to earn more than I've earned in a while, which is <laughs> selling waters or like, and just coming up with random ideas and testing things. And I've been so stuck on the details that I've barely been doing that. I spun my wheels for like the last three months just worrying about what it is I want to offer the world when I should have just been testing it. And I know that. Like, this is not new to me. I understand the concepts, but man, it's hard to apply it to yourself. And a lot of that is the fear of failure. So, Ryan, <laughs> thank you for showing me that it's foolish and I shouldn't be caring what people think. I can't be afraid of failure. That's the only way that we grow. And I'm excited, nervous to figure out where this journey leads to. Um, you can follow it on Ashley Ross finds Joe or I'm sorry, Ashley Ross going merrily on YouTube and Instagram. I'm also on TikTok, and I'll be hopefully recording these 
semi-regularly to keep you guys up to date on where I'm at. And if we're going to make it, we're going to make it. Positive energy. We've got this. I've got this. You've got this. And if you also are on this journey and you're feeling really extremely nervous about the fact that you might not be able to pay your bills next month, drop a link or <laughs> drop a link, drop a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Um, I also help uh, business owners. It's my goal. It's really what I want to offer the world is especially parent business owners to help you figure out how to manage your business in a more efficient way so that you can get back to enjoying life. So if that's something that you need help with and you're tired of taking out your frustrations on your loved ones because you have nothing left at the end of the day, then hit me up because I would love to help you with that. All right. Thank you. I'll be in touch. Bye guys.